Hello, beautiful souls. So this is part two of Among Us Pick My Makeup. If you haven't seen part one, you should totally go watch that because it will make so much more sense. That being said, uh, you probably won't like this look. But if you want to see how I got from barefaced and basic to this funky and extra look, then keep watching because let me tell you, it gets interesting and there was a lot of improvising that had to be done. Let's get started. Okay, so now that we played Among Us and we had it pick our makeup, I'm going to be able to do a really cool makeup look. I'm also not sure. And I, I'm going to do it in the, the order that it comes up. Remember that. So the first color on the list is white. And I, at the beginning, I already decided that I was going to make it highlight because I, I don't think I have white eyeshadow. However, white comes up again, so I'm going to have to get creative. That being said, what's my whitest highlight that I could use. So I'm using my Natasha Denona one in uh, it's the Diamond and Glows. I'm going to use a nice big fluffy brush like this but kind of pointed like a normal highlight brush I guess. Not a fan though. And I'm going to use that and I'm going to put it in my highlights. Just put a bunch of it. Okay so next on the list is black which means I have to do Okay no, no I'm going to do light mascara so I'll do my first coat now. That's how I'll figure it out. Because I have a lot of black on this list. Because I dyed a lot. Yeah, I'm going to do a bunch of layers. So let's start with the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. So let's just get the first coat on. That's all I'm doing just to split my eyelashes. Okay, so I did the one layer of eyelashes with the black. Okay. Now we have the color red. Use it for blush and lipstick. So let's go with blush first. Oh, I hate blushing. <sighs> okay, it's fine. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. So let's just blush it up. It should be really interesting how this video turns out. Also, the primer I'm using is terrible. My makeup feels like it's crumbling off. Next, we have the color black again. So let's do a second coat of mascara. Oh, no, you know what? I'll do the under eyes. Because I don't want my lashes too full yet. If I have a, I have a big eyeshadow look coming, so I don't want my lashes too full yet. So I did my under eyelashes with the second black that was here. Okay, we have white again, so I'm going to highlight my eyes already. I'm gonna use again the Natasha Denona, Natasha Denona palette. Yeah. So this primer kind of sucks. So if my makeup is crumbling here, I think it's because of the primer. I'm gonna use a brush like this. Wait, so you can see it. Okay, I'm gonna use a brush like that, and I'm gonna put it right in the corners of my eye as since white number two came, which is interesting because I'm already using the highlight. Also gonna put it in the highlight of my brow bone. Okay, next. We got the color C in. Okay, 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 let's see. I think, I think I have the color C in in my uh, Maddie Ziegler palette. Yeah, she kind of has a light blue color called Five. It's not quite C in, but I think it's the closest I'm going to get. So I'm going to take the color Five, okay, and I'm going to put it all over the top of my eye, like here in the crease. Wow, what a transition color. <laughs> I think I have an idea though. I, I think I do. Okay, so now just to be sure that it isn't harsh, I'm gonna swirl. Okay, so we have CN again, so I'm going to go in with the James Charles palette. So I'm gonna use the color Hello and I'll put it all over the lid, blending it into the crease. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I look like a clown because I have really blushy cheeks. Oh, and then we're gonna have red lipstick. This look is going to be something interesting. Next on the list is black. So we're on our third coat of mascara. Or, you know what? No, 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 no. I have a better idea. I'm going to use it on my eyes. So I'm gonna use the only black color in the James Charles palette. I'm going to take this precise brush and I'm gonna go in with a black. And I'm going to just lightly bring some shape here, like darken the look a bit. So yeah, I, I know it looks messy now, but I'm going to take another brush, like a fluffy brush, and I'm going to blend that in. I'm sweating here, it's making me nervous. Hold on, let me... Okay, and I'm going to blend it in. Remember, I can't dip into anything else. This look is really going to be something. Yeah, so already, as you can see, it's looking strange. But I'm going to do the other eye, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I used the only black in the Jean Charles palette to add some black. Now, what color is next? Oh, great. The color is red. I'm going to try put red lip liner but very lightly because I have an idea I have an idea now 
I just lined my lips. I'm going to take this now to blend it into the rest of my lips. Okay, see, it like it tinted my lips a little bit. It's like my lips are a little redder now. My lips are tinted red without being red red because I think if it were red red, it would not look good with the look. So the color is next, royal blue. Okay, wait, royal blue. That's that's something we can do. We can work with that. Okay, I'm gonna grab that fluffy brush again to make sure that it mixes. So to go in with the James Charles palette. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the color cola because I think that's the closest to our Among Us character. And I'm gonna put it, put some more in the inner corner here, blending it in with the black. Okay, so I also decided that I wanted to go a little under with that color, so I'm grabbing a finer brush and I'm gonna take the color cola and I'm just gonna pull it under. We're at black again. I'm going to add the second coat, the third coat of mascara. We're back at white. Oh, white eyeliner, white eyeliner. We have white eyeliner. Okay, I'm gonna put a little dot of it in the inner corner just to really pop it out. Okay, so I did the other eye. It's hard to tell, but I, I, I dotted a lot of this on to my inner corner to just really make the eye pop. Yeah. Okay, I have an idea for the purple. I'm going to take my super precise brush again, this one, and I'm gonna put the color she insists, that one, okay? And I'm gonna put it under my eyes. Blend, I'm putting it right under and I'm blending it in with the color cola. Okay, so now we got some purple under the eyes. Okay, okay, she's getting somewhere. Next, dark blue again. Okay, well he had a shimmer that is dark blue and I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it in this look. I have an idea. I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use acapella, and I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, I'm gonna use kind of a brush like this. It's still kind of fluffy, but still more precise than normal. And I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna use the color acapella, and I'm going to put it kind of blending the color cola with the the color on my crease. And then I'm gonna take it again, and I'm going to put it here as well. This isn't, this is it bad, but it's not as bad as I was expecting. There, now I'm really worried for when we get to yellow and green, but you know, I spoke too soon. We're at lime now. I have an idea. So I'm going to spray this onto the, my spray onto my brush. So I'm gonna take the color Social Glade. Remember, now it's been dipped in, so it's wet. And I'm gonna line the look right here. And then I'm gonna take the same one and then I'm gonna line it under. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and this is what it looks like. It, it's kind of weird, but I like it. it. It's it's also really fun. It's really vibey. Okay, so what's next? Okay, brown. Oh, something that I know how to do. I'm just gonna contour my face. I've been I've been waiting for the color brown. I could really use some contour. Okay, so I contoured really lightly, really quickly. I'm not gonna do my nose because it's gonna be a mess because I don't have the chance to fix it with highlight. So yeah, next color on the light. Okay, yellow. Let's use the color like butter. And I'm gonna take it from here all the way into there. And yeah, so now I have the yellow in the inner corner. Next, uh, lime again. Okay, Ooh. okay, I have an idea for lime again. James Charles has this really fun shimmer, the color guac. I'm gonna put it on the green. I wanted to do that the minute I saw that emeraldy color. I'm just gonna take it and put it on the green. This feels like I'm doing Cirque du Soleil. Like, imagine. Now we are at orange. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna keep doing these funky lines that we have going on. Uh, I think I'm going to do a cool, like, just like, just one line of orange. And I'm gonna put it right under here. It's way more pigmented than I was hoping. <laughs> There was a point where I was liking it, but now that we added orange, it, it, I'm lost. Then I'm gonna grab the same color that we used and I'm just gonna put it right on the lid. Make it really nice and blue, might as well. Dark blue again. Okay, okay, so we're back to, I think it's called, uh, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna deepen the look. I'm not, nope, I'm done. I'm just gonna deepen where we, where we already have the dark blue. And the last one, pink. So now with pink, I'm gonna just use a lip gloss. Wow, okay, this look is a lot. Okay. So that completes this look. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I try to post videos every Friday and I'm, I wanna try to post during the week, but I'm not sure because it's really difficult right now. If you're interested, you can follow me on Instagram at Juliana Theos and if you're interested in acting coaching, actually, you can follow me at Juliana Acting Coaching. Look at that, we got it on this sweater. 
And tell me in the comments down below if you like this look. If you did, then... Th th I... Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, here, let me get up close a little bit. I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's fun, and I think it looks cool, and it's creative, and I, it actually gave me a lot of ideas. It it opened me up to using colors I never thought I would use, but I don't know if I would necessarily use all the, these colors again together, but it was really fun, and I'm really excited, and I can't wait to see what people think when I post this. Okay, so, yeah, have a great day. Bye!